Stop! Cut! Nope! Stop it! Stop the thing! Stop the music! I don't know how to do audio transitions, so this is what you get. All right, start it back up. But just like, you know, lower the volume, come on. My first introduction to Pal World was when a friend sent me a trailer and I watched it and I'm like, isn't this just Pokemon, but with guns and like a little bit of arc? And then I looked up and everybody was pretty much saying, it's just Pokemon with guns. They were all wrong. These games are nothing alike. In Pal World, it's all about collecting pals. They're these creatures that roam the land and they have different types. So there's like a fire type and there's an ice type and a water type, an electric type and a rock type. You know, it goes on and on and on. And they kind of have their own specific regions where you'll find, you know, specific types, which, you know, it's kind of like based off of the train. It's really cool. And certain types have advantages over other types. For instance, fire is not so good against water, but fire is great against like a grass type. And each of these pals have different skills that they can acquire, or you can train them with these skills, and the higher level they are, the more of these skills they unlock. So aside from that, what you're also going to be doing in Pal World is you're gonna be collecting resources so you can uh, level up and build a cool base and have a location where your pals can work for you. These games are nothing alike. They are completely different in every aspect. It's like comparing apples to apple pie. They're just two separate entities. They're not like apples grow from trees. Apple pie doesn't grow from trees. They're, they're made. It's, it's completely different, an entirely different thing. That being said, it's a pretty cool game. You should buy it. I need more pie. Hey! There's no 15-minute lunch break here.